live from the 2013 CMA Awards and fresh out of City Limit Saloon about a month ago. Yeah, baby. It is Chris Jantz, and I will tell people that if you weren't there at the show, first off, that was your bad and your mistake because you missed out. <laughs> Chris, I'm telling you right now, I was told before I saw you, watch this kid on stage, but when I saw him, I've never seen somebody on stage. I was told it's a mix of Mick Jagger and, and old country, and, and literally you didn't disappoint that night. Well, thanks, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of people in that bar, and I've never seen you have the crowd from one side of the club to the other doing thank everything you. you wanted. It was wild that night, well, man. thank you. Well, Listen to me. Thank you to your for your support, and I'll tell you what. Speaking of that crowd, there was a great crowd there, and um, it was an awesome night. But it all starts out, and I'm not just patting you on the back, brother. I would tell you this in front of anyone, and I've said it since we left. That was the best intro that I ever could have gotten. So thank you for that. That was Dude. a great day to fire it up. You know, when you introduce music, no matter whether it be me, whether it be anybody else out there, man, it's so important to us as entertainers and singers and songwriters to be introduced well and to be put in a good light before you go on stage. And you put me in the best light I ever could have asked for, and that meant a lot to me. That fired. That fired me up. Dude, I'm the same way. I mean, what I do, I'm there to make sure. I mean, you're there to put on the show, and I You're just right. want to give you the props that you deserve. But well, you know. it's all about, you get it, it's about the vibe. I don't care that's if right. anybody knows my name or what I do, that's but right. when you see the, the crowd going like that, that's what it's all about. Man, that's all it's about. And, and uh, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it's all about the music, whether it be on the radio, whether it be at a live show. It's all about the song and about the music, and um, that's what I strive for. And I, and I know we're on the same page with that, and I appreciate that. No doubt, man. Now, the new single, Cut Me Some Slack, yeah. is out right now. Now, tell us where that came from. Man, when I was dating my wife, well, well actually, when I was just kind of in the initial stage of trying to date my wife, um, Cut Me Some Slack was really, that was kind of the that was kind of the MO. That was the story. It was like, give me the green light. Give me just one night. And if you don't like how I really can say no thanks. That was a line from the song. That's true, dude. And, uh, you know, I was telling her pretty much in a roundabout way, just cut me some slack. I'm telling you. Not a player. Not a weirdo. I just really love you. And uh, you know what? I don't think the convincing had to take that long. It right, wasn't right. that much of a drawn-out process. God put us together at the right time. The timing was correct for the both of us, I believe. And, uh, man, it's it's cool because not only I make my best friend, but it, it's not my soulmate. And so we share everything together. We have wonderful children. And... Uh, just a good life, man. It's a it's a it's a it's a healthy balance, and it really helps out my musical career. Well, it's cool because we actually got to sit down before the show, and I had never I've heard your stuff, but had never met you. And watching you two tell the story of how y'all met mm -hmm. and different things, and like you could, and it's funny because you were like, hey, no, 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 it happened like this, and she's like, no, 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 it happened like that. Yeah. Like you could just tell the chemistry was there, and that's what it's all right. about. Well, you know what? It's it's so important, and uh, to talk about those things, to bring them up. We love telling our story. I especially do, and uh, you know, I'm I, I'm able to be put on a platform sometimes um, with radio and what have you and to her credit as well but it's important man and I want people to know that I'm a family man and my wife goes with me just about everywhere we can go together yeah well, and, uh, it's so important when I heard y'all story and we were talking about kids and showing pictures and all that night and when I met my wife it was like we walked into the club and it was that deal when I looked up and saw her like time stopped and yes. like the Dreamweaver song started yep. and everything slowed down like totally, it was, dude it was just you know that moment so I can feel what you're talking about hair halfway pulled up green slouchy dress and you you remember Brown, right, right. Soho boots. Never forget it. All right, now I'm going to put you on the spot. Now, this is your first year that we've seen you here. All right. So every year we do the uh, the cover song challenge. Great. Any song, any genre, as long as it's not yours. Okay. Any song, any genre. Any song, any genre, as long as it's not your well, song. Since we're in the best genre, country music, I'll play a country music song. I'll do a Hank Williams number here. Today I passed you on the street. And my heart fell at your feet I can't help it if I'm still in love with you Somebody else stood by your side And he looked so satisfied I can't help it if I'm still in love with you That's what I love, because you hear that, and you hear the old school. But when I saw you on stage at night, it was 90 miles an hour from one side to the other. It's country music, man. It's country music, and country music is great, and I, I firmly believe that, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Good deal. Big things coming. Remember this name, Chris Jansen, live from the 2013 CMA Awards. Thank you.